Welcome back to Back to the Basics. We are talking SNMP, and we're going to do a little overview. We're talking community streams, we're talking access control, and what's a MIB? Let's go! Hey, welcome back. We are talking SNMP. What is SNMP? It is a tool that, that allows us to probe devices on the network. So things like uh, network switches, routers, firewalls, even things like UPSs, power strips. Some of the network server power strips have our network enabled. Printers, things like that. We can do things like how much paper is left? Are we out of paper? How's the toner? On a network switch, we can see you know, how much bandwidth the, an interface is using, errors, discards, all of that we can see through SNMP. So it gives us a lot of visibility into the network. There's a couple of things that are important to know about SNMP. The first thing being a community stream. So what is that? It's essentially a password that we assign permissions like read only, read write. So what is read, read only versus read write? Read only allows us to pull information only. So how much interface bandwidth is being used on port one, two, three. Um, things like that where it's a read-only community string. The other thing is a read-write community string, so it would allow us to set certain things. Um, and the, the, another, the other thing around community strings are access control lists. So we can set a community string, which is essentially a password, assign it a privilege, read only, read write, and then attach an access control list. Well, what does the access control list actually do? Well, it limits what devices can pull information. So they call it SNMP pull. So that's where I, as a server, SNMP server, uh, or a monitoring server is a better word for it, We'll use that string or password to go out to a device, a network switch, a router, a firewall with my, my community string and pull the device. So I say, hey, I want to know how much bandwidth interface one is using. I can pull that device for interface one, get how much bandwidth it's pulling. I can log that and graph it over time. So that's a lot, a lot of what uh, people are using SNMP to do is graph utilization, network utilization, things like that. So an access control list will filter who can pull, pull data. So in a, in a network, a, a nice thing to do as you're administering a network, you don't want to let anyone just pull this device. You want to limit it to your monitoring server. So if I'm out there not, not associated to the monitoring server, I'm not the monitoring server, you don't want it to just be able to try pulling your device with random community strings uh, to get access information or data on your network devices. So that's why we put an access control list on there to limit who can, who can see the, the information. All right, so lastly, you may hear a lot about, oh, give me the MIB. So what is a MIB? It's a management information base, and it has all of the things that we call OIDs. An OID, it's a bunch of, a bunch of numbers stringed together, and the management information base says this number pulls this stat. And so if you wanted to do custom like SNMP uh, queries or polling or graphing, you could look up in the management information base, the OID, that's the number sequence of numbers that gets you to that piece of data you want to pull, and it'll spit back a number or whatever that value is, and you can graph that over time. So things like interface utilization, you're going to be pulling bytes in, bytes out, and you're going to be doing a calculation on utilization, and it's going to graph bandwidth over time. So that's what a MIB is used for. It's to help you correlate what, I'm, what I want to pull and what's the OID that I need to pull, pull it from. So today, covering SNMP, we talked about everything. What is SNMP? What does it do? What is it good for? Community streams, access control. We talked a little bit about MIBs and OIDs. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything I said that you're like, whoa, 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 give me more, let us know. But make sure you like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you later.